Well, here it is guys, the office tour that you never thought you needed to see. But now it's here. It's probably actually the first ever homestead office tour I've ever seen on YouTube. Hmm. Almost all the time it's about YouTubers home office or home studio for recording or designers or editors or that kind of stuff. But this is my like sales rep and homestead home office. So this is the space I spend a lot of my time in during the day doing my sales rep job as well as in the evenings or weekends doing editing for the YouTube channel that we run like you're watching right now. There's a number of things here as well that kind of represent my past. Uh, things I've done like my time in the reserves, people I've known from past experiences, stuff from my grandmother. So when people come over, I want them to, you know, kind of get a little experience of being in the office and checking out some of the cool stuff. And you know, every so often someone looks at something and their mind goes. So it's really cool that way. So one of the things I got from my grandmother was this map right here. It's a World War II RAF second edition map. And I definitely had to put it in a frame to be able to protect it. It's pretty cool. So it's an ordnance survey of England and Wales. It's got York on there as well. It's really neat. You know, you can almost hear the Lancasters and Spitfires flying overhead when you're looking at this map. So around the map, we've got some metal signs, a print of a Memphis Bell movie. That was pretty cool. Uh, we got obviously some other ones, cool guy ones, Mossberg, they had great shotguns. We got, you know, pinup girl doing laundry. That's how basically Bridget does the laundry. And definitely thank the teacher, thank the military for, you know, being able to learn in a free country. And up above, I've got a big old longhorn skull. My ex actually got that for me down at the Royal. And the funny joke about that was she was carrying it around. She was in a, basically a nice dress carrying that skull around. And one guy said to her, I wanna see the truck that that's going on. Well, didn't go on my truck, but it's up on the wall. And below the map, we've got T-Bone Skull. He was the first Highland bull we harvested here on the farm. And beside that, we got a couple oil lamps. Those always come in handy for when the power goes out. So it's nice to always have those close. So right beside my office desk, across from the gun rack on the wall and the map and the skulls and stuff, I've got this little kind of lounge, lounger, black leather, I got it years ago and I loved it and it never really fit in anywhere where I had it. But now that I've got it here in my office, it kind of works perfectly. Bridget can come down and talk to me while I'm working or if I have someone over and want to have a drink or a beer or something, it's nice to be able to, you know, sit down here with all the ambiance and enjoy things. I've got my humidor right here, a few of my lighters, uh, a few of my cigar cutters, so that's all right here as well. Right above that little lounge chair that I just showed you that I was sitting in is caribou hide. It's nice to be able to soak up some of the echo in here. It uh, really absorbs that sound reverberation, but I think I might have to put something else on it because just like that, it's kind of plain. I might have to throw my shield and sword up there or something. So right behind me is the gun rack. I built this out of some spare wood we had around the farm here. It's just holding the kids' pellet guns. So that stays there so they can basically grab them anytime they want to go out and start plinking away. Up on top is some of my fly rod reels. The fishing rods are right above me on the ceiling. I built a rack so they're up there. But I took the reels off just for basically storage purposes. They're down here. I've got some of my favorite knives here. Uh, one of Bridget's Ulu's that she uses for when we're skinning, preparing the skins. And then this one here is pretty neat. Just a little cap gun. So it uses um, percussion caps here and you can load it with pellets and it will shoot pellets. 
So right behind my desk, what everyone usually sees in the YouTube lives, or when I'm doing reviews, or going through my get home bag, that kind of stuff, is all this right behind me. So we've got two shotguns up here, both are antiques, they're disabled, they don't shoot anymore, unfortunately. It would be really cool to try them out, but I don't uh, trust them, even if they were active and able to sh fire. So they're up there, I've got my couple of my throwing axes up there, an arrow that uh, I harvested a deer with the other year. I've got my one sword here, my other zombie sword. Over here I've got uh, a hardcore harm, Hardcore Hardware Tomahawk and this one is pretty cool. It's been uh, kind of around the world I had a buddy who took it on a dart mission to the Philippines. So it's been busting coconuts I had another buddy who was uh, cans off. He took this to some other places He said it really busts holes in walls really nice and does some other stuff really great so it's, it's been a few places. And then obviously I've got uh, the coins that everyone kind of sees in the background. Up here is a couple of medals from my grandfather. I really need to get those mounted and put up because I also have these right here. That was my grandmother's ration stamps from World War II. And then this is an old prisoner of war letter so i kind of want to put those with the medals do a little display case for them um i've got a uh, little memento from my buddy drew who was killed over in iraq 25 mil casing these are awesome when they go off when you hear the lav fire and it's thunk 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 oh it's just awesome little stuff from my past obviously uh, I was with the Queen's York Rangers, a reserve element that was armored. Armored in Iltises. Armored. Little wood carving of me. One of my co-workers did that. And then obviously we get through the coins. We got some cool stuff in there. Uh, one's from Seesaw, one's from Sea Gyru. Uh, again, I was just a reservist. So mine is right there from the Queen's York Rangers. But lots of buddies who were in uh, RCR, Cants Off, uh, lots of other good ones. I've got uh, another really cool one here. United States Secret Service. The cool people you get to meet when you go to SHOT Show and you're in the industry is just awesome. So other ones that give them to me by clients or even ones that uh, I purchased when I was down at SHOT Show. Always nice conversation pieces. So then beside my desk, over against the window, we've got this horrible curtain that I just threw up one day. We actually need to go out and buy a real curtain because this one is horrible. I don't like it. I'll probably go something black or something like that. But that's what I had at the time, so that's right there now. I've got this cool Area 51 kind of plaque that I put up, and I needed some lights. So I put these two lights up, and being that we're on the homestead, I figure the chicken heating lights would work really well, just replace the bulbs to something else. So yeah, those are chicken heating lights. Awesome. Didn't cost us anything because we already had it. Uh, this shelf used to be my grandmother's. So again, it's another little memento from my grandmother, something to me to remember her by. And I'm trying to fill it with some stuff that, again, means a bunch to me or is stuff I use all the time. I got two cool things up in there as well. That's a Knight's Armament flask in the shape of an SR25 mag. It says Knight's on the bottom. And that one, Arcteryx Yeti beer cooler. Another thing here in the shelf that I wanna actually get mounted into a little frame is when I was young, I was in the Scouts and we, or was it Cubs? And we did like, we went and sold apples, like the girl guides do the cookies, we did the apples. And we went to a guy's house and he used to be in the scouts as well. And he gave me some of these old patches.
So these are like from 1955, 1967. Some pretty cool old Boy Scout patches. So I need to get them framed and put in something that will actually preserve them as well. Up on top here, I've got my Aston Martin. I've always wanted an Aston Martin. Got to ride in one a few times and you know, with the James Bond movies, you gotta love it. Could I get a, if I could get a Vanquish? Oh, yeah. I don't know how well that would work around the homestead, transporting, you know, feed and that kind of stuff. But to have an Aston Martin, you know, you're going out to dinner one night and I was like, hey babe, let's take the Aston. I used to do models when I was young and I wanted to get back into it over the winter and get our boys doing models as well. So I did this one here and this is an old Yale trainer. So my grandfather actually used to fly these and the flinch, the flinch, the flitch, the flick. It's another old trainer in World War II because he used to teach Lancaster bombers or Lancaster, Lancaster bomber pilots how to fly the Lancasters. So they started off in the Flitch, the Flint Fleet and the Yale trainer. So I want to do a couple models of these. I've got this one. I haven't done the flick, flinch, flick. I don't know. I have to look it up. And I'm still working on my Lancaster. It's about halfway done. Now when I'm sitting at my desk up to the left and kind of in front of me is the three crates with the books that I use the most. In it are reference books and other books that, you know, building gates and fences, um, gun reference books, how to make soap, We've got uh, Richard Branson here, uh, 33 Strategies of War. I've got my Zombie Survival Guide as well here. So this is kind of where I keep all those books that I use a lot or books that are pretty cool as well. I have this one here, which is The Hobbit. Pretty neat edition of that one. Treasure Island, that one's an old one. Poems that make grown men cry. Hey. If you can't enjoy the odd poem or poetry or good classic writing, what's life li worth living for then? Also on top of the bookshelf is a couple of the skulls I found around the property. So those are just there as kind of cool little things. And of course, another movie poster, Black Hawk Down, another classic. And then what I get to stare at all day is my desk. I've got dual screens and my work laptop here. I've got the microphone set up, the camera, the light. So when it's dark, I can actually have the light in my face doing the YouTube lives. I try and keep my desk as clear as possible. I don't like a messy desk. I like to keep it nice and clean. I've got the little cowbell here too. So when we're doing lives and someone does a little uh, super chat or something like that, they get the cowbell. So guys, I hope you kind of enjoyed that little uh, YouTuber, homesteader, sales rep, office tour. I'll probably change it again soon because it's not complete, complete the way I really want it, but I think I've got it almost perfected after probably about 30 times of changing it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for checking this out. Be sure to get down there, hit that like, subscribe, and comment about your favorite part of my office. I really want to hear your thoughts on that.